y'all and welcome back to the channel to do we are doing my meals for a week trader joe's edition and the first meal makes no sense it's asparagus rice as well as korean barbecue so this is the korean barbecue that i bought from trader joe's as well as the asparagus everything that's going to be in today's video is from trader joe's that's the theme of this video I just promised you my time and I'm giving it to you. I personally love asparagus, top three vegetable in my book. So these were already cleaned. Um, I washed them. I'm trimming off the hard, stumpy bottoms of them. And then I'm going to put them on aluminum foil, hit it with a little olive oil, some seasoning. And then later on, you'll see me put an extra special ingredient on it. But I could eat asparagus every day. I prefer them grilled, but we just moved in. So right now, roasting is where it's at. Now y'all know this. Um, I'm not using that much seasoning. And y'all know I normally season things to the gods. But asparagus to me... Salt, pepper, a little garlic maybe. That's all it really needs. It doesn't need that much seasoning. So yeah, I'm for me, this is a little bit of seasoning, y'all. I'm tired of explaining how I choose to live my life. Cause I told you when we started, instead of just complaining. And I'm definitely not a sprinkler. That's what I call people that just sprinkle on seasoning and just walk away. You really need to, you know, marinate and massage in your oils as well as your seasoning to get it coated so that every bite has a little bit of flavor or enhanced flavor in my opinion. I'm not the sprinkle sprinkle walk away type of girl. And the ribs are raw. I got this question in my grocery haul when you guys saw me buy these. These are, this, that's raw meat so it's not like pre-cooked and you're just warming it up like some of Trader Joe's meals. This is actually raw meat. It's in a marinade already. Um, my favorite way to eat these are on a grill. Like on a grill, y'all, they hit. Again, I just moved into my apartment, so I don't have a grill yet. But this will definitely be a repeat meal um, in the summertime because I will be grilling these ribs as well as my daggone vegetables. I did order a grill pan. Um, it is cast iron. It's on back order. So I won't be getting it until mid-May, y'all. But I'll definitely be utilizing that because I don't know how my apartment feels about gas grills. Okay, so I picked up this chicken chow mein on a whim. This is the first time I've ever saw it in Trader Joe's and I thought this would be good meal prep for lunches to bring to work. So I just hit it with, my pans are so pretty y'all. I just hit it with a little bit more olive oil. You dump, literally dump everything in the bag and apparently the sauce. And you just let it fry, um, stir fry it, add the sauce. It was a super easy meal. I probably won't get it again cause it was just like, okay, but yeah. This is where I took the asparagus out. It is pretty much, I wanna say 80% done, but I hit it with a little bit of fresh Parmesan cheese. Y'all, when I tell you I can make any vegetable fattening, it's a skill. This caramelizes and it gets a little crusty and brown. Y'all, it is so good. If you've never tried this, put a little Parmesan cheese on your asparagus put it under the broiler for a couple of minutes chef's kiss You literally have to put it in under the broiler, I want to say, for two to three minutes. You see me getting all the cheese out, y'all. All of the cheese. But um, put it under the broiler, I want to say tops three minutes. It just takes it to a whole different level of goodness. We do the we do. Yeah. 
Like I said, for the chow mein, it was just basically kind of stir fry, put everything in a pot, then add the sauce and stir. It wasn't horrible, it just, it didn't smack. You know what I mean? Um, this is something I could have made on my own. I probably will next time. But yeah, it did the job. I just felt like I could have, you know, did this from scratch a little better. I would give it a four and a half out of 10. Wasn't horrible, but won't be repurchasing. But it did the job. This was like three days worth of lunch. The one thing that was a plus is that it was like foolproof. It was super easy. Literally put everything in a pot, add the sauce, forget about it. It's, it's done within like, I want to say five minutes. It don't come for me for my plastic silverware, y'all. Again, just moved in. But yeah, it was pretty fool's proof. If you don't like to cook or don't know how to cook, this would be the perfect dish for you. Was cooking, I plated my dinner, and here it is, the asparagus with Parmesan, Korean barbecue, and white rice, and it snapped, y'all. I was so excited for this is literally the whole focus of my Trader Joe's trip I was too excited to make these so it comes in this package pro tip slide the cardboard back to make sure you get be beefy beef and not like a bunch of fat got my favorite corn tortillas I love corn tortillas I cannot stand flour avocado red onion and cilantro all from Trader Joe's I wanted to like remix it just a little bit add my twist on it the meat looks kind of suspect, will not lie, when it first comes off, but just go ahead and put it in the pan, throw a top on and let it do its thing. Next time around, I would cook this with an onion and jalapeno just to give it a little bit more of a spice kick. But again, fool's proof meal, really don't have to watch it. After it was fully cooked, I went ahead and shredded the meat so the meat can soak up some of those juices. Then you take that same juice, put it in a frying pan, and that's where you fry your tacos. The shells, actually, I'm sorry. And then me personally, I did some meat. I did my fixings as well as the cheese and put that all in the taco so it has some extra flavor. But yeah, just fry it, y'all. Came out so pretty, they were so good. I'm mad I didn't get another pack. Definitely give these a 10 out of 10 meal is an old faithful shrimp linguine with pesto sauce um, I do doctor this up these are all of the seasonings that your girl uses when I cook shrimp I have to do obey like they just go together they're married they're not getting divorced they're together forever they mammy and pappy type of deal this is my favorite shrimp um, it comes across very very pink and red when you buy it but that is raw you still have to cook those and this is the linguine with pesto sauce. It comes with the cherry tomatoes. Girl, this alone is good, but adding the shrimp on top is just, you know, added bonus. Me itself takes no time to cook, so I'm just focusing on my shrimp right now. They've already been cleaned. They come deveined, which is always a plus. So I just put those in a pan and I go ahead and put my seasonings on. Sometimes I'll mix the seasoning and the shrimp in a bowl. I really did not feel like washing multiple dishes if we're being completely honest. So I just put everything in the pan. So just let those saute away. It's just like regular shrimp. They are a little bigger and like I said a little pinker. But it doesn't take that long to cook shrimp. I just wanted to get that out the way. Plus... You'll see the little bits on the bottom of the pan, just deglaze it, and I use those bits to flavor my already flavorful linguine, but you'll see in a minute. So here's the shrimp. I've already flipped it just once, you know, on each side. They cook for about three, four minutes. You don't want rubbery shrimp, so you don't have to cook them long, like I said. It's on a medium heat. You want to keep all of the little bits of seasoning at the bottom of your pan. I cannot stress that enough. It's just gonna flavor your pasta. Hey, look at that, look at that. Look, 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 look. Goodness, flavor, leave that alone. 
just go ahead and remove your shrimp put it on a plate you know let it hang out take pictures like me because it looks so good then go ahead and just dump the pasta in there it looks suspect trust the process y'all but just put it in that same spot and those noodles are going to soak up all of that seasoning and then there you have it it is extremely hearty meal look how big and pretty those shrimp are definitely a go-to until next time guys bye